Good morning, YouTubers. Yes, sorry, Bob. It's, it's 8 o'clock. Well, we've been done for almost half an hour now. But we're sitting here at the big Ikea here in Bonn, Ontario. And we just got to scan in our her work. We're going to do it through the phone because pay a cutoff is today. I'm not sure. They said uh, because a long weekend they're doing it at noon, but I think that's just for the U.S. drivers. But just to play it safe, we're going to scan in our stuff using our phone. Uh, let's see. Nothing else new. We still got our CB in. See, there's the CB. Yeah, we'll go through some other stuff. Of course, we still have it in like I took it out. Duh. All right. I uh, don't know what I'm doing yet, but I've only got 10 hours left. Just over the 10 hours. And then I'm up to my 70. So... I sent a message in. We're trying to see if they can get me a load to Ottawa. So I can do my do a reset at home. This is actually, this the way that week has worked and how much I've been running. Uh, ended up burning through my hours really quick. So uh, technically I don't, my eighth day isn't until Thursday, which for us in Canada would mean I'd get my first day back already because uh, it's seven days, 70 hours. But that would still mean I would have to sit tomorrow so i may as well do a reset right start back off at zero so just waiting to see if he can get me to ottawa great if not uh, it'll be kitchener but we'll find out I have no clue just yet Alrighty, time to head to work all right we got three pickups to do and it's gonna be a fun day have to screw around here in Toronto. Three pickups and then we're dropping the Mississauga yard. Oh, are we gonna make it? We're gonna make it. Are we gonna make it? Yes, we are. Come on, dude. There we go. Yep, should be fun. So first pickup is in Brampton. Trying to think which way to go, which would be the best. Either cut across or no, we'll go down to the highway. Screw it. It's late enough. It's 9:30. We might be all right. But we want to try to get these all done before it gets too late. So we don't get caught in any of the traffic because our last pickup's in Pickering, which of course is on the east side. It's gonna suck. I wish they'd started off at Pickering worked our way to Brampton would have been much better but hey the bonus is we get two extra drops for pay which is like an extra $65 I think I know the first one is 30 and then the second extra drop I think is 35 or 40 I'm not sure you have to actually look it up but they actually pay a really good for extra picks and drops so then there's the mileage that won't be too bad. It's like 100 total miles driven today is going to be like 130 or 140 miles. I think it's like around 130 actually. And then we'll have the empty miles going back to Kitchener, which will be another 55 or 60. It might not end up being too bad of a day. We'll see how long it takes us though. I have the option. Either get paid by the hour or the mileage. I'm thinking I'm going to go for the mileage because I get the extra drop pay there. Might work out better. We'll see. Anywho, we're on our way to the first one. Well, our first pickup is done. We're now back on the 401. Actually, we're in the collectors because we're going to be heading north on the 400. Next stop, Aurora, Ontario. About 60 kilometers or so. 52 actually. Oh, sweet Lord Almighty. Traffic, 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 traffic. It never ends. And of course, I was at that first place for what? Three hours? A little over three hours? Close to three hours? Just to get a couple of pallets because they were all confused. I don't know what's going on with that one, but... Left hand definitely didn't talk to the right hand there and it had nothing to do with Celadon. If 
Oh, like I said, next stop, Aurora. All right, quickly here, somebody took a Hummer and turned it into one of the chase tow trucks. That's funny. Yeah, of course, we're not going to get close enough to it. It's got it all airbrushed. Come on, dude, really? Gotta love it. Just got to love it. this interchange. That's why I went on to the collectors here because at least you don't end up in the left lane coming on to it. No, now I'm getting messages. Of course I'm getting messages. Oh, what the heck kind of garbage did they do here now? Boys and girls, this could end up as a separate video, I don't know. So we gotta wait for a truck to come out of there. Of course, now we gotta go over here where there's a fire hydrant. But I got turned around because there's no way I'm blindsiding in from the street into this place. And I'm gonna pull my axles up in a minute there. But yeah, we're basically going to have to uh, back into this place. So. Now I'm going to slide my axles. Axles are slid. Now we gotta find the room to do this. Make sure this car's not coming, which will take forever. You guys are going to get a kick out of this place, man. Absolutely crazy. I'm going to post this as a separate video. So I climb the curb.
freaking cars, man. Yeah, there's going to be a video on its own. I was trying to rush that one to get in. I took her too wide a little bit. Well, that's why we had to do a re-straighten out here. blind side into the hole I don't hit any cars here Probably should have started turning earlier. Yep. Uh, we're going to have to do this again. This is where a power mirror comes in real handy. Sorry, I didn't have time to mount this on the uh, mirror. Remember, guys, go slow, eh? If you're not sure of yourself. has arrived. Okay. Holy crap, man, Batman. Alrighty, we meet her in as straight as we're going to be. Check out where the cement wall is here. All blindside from the road. Yep. Holy cropper snappers, bot. Hey, ready, boys and girls. There's one crazy ass delivery that was just finished. I uh, wouldn't want to send a 
newbie driver into that place. No offense to any of you newbies and your ability to back up, but there's no need to take risk when you don't need to. So there's no way I'd send in a new driver. And that was strictly meant for day cab. I don't know why they send a highway truck in there. My truck is good. Setback axle, you know, turns good. I would <laughs> no way in hell would I want to put a Peterbilt in there. Because you figure there's at least a good extra two feet on the front end from what this truck has. You know, or a Kenworth. Like a W900. Nuh-uh, no way. No sorry, Bob. I guarantee the drivers of uh, those kind of trucks will just look at that and go, See ya! Why take a risk at ruining your truck, man? I can see it happening. Alright, we're done here. We are on our way to Pickering now. Hopefully things go smoothly going there. We're going to another trucking company to get this last bit, so... Well, the only problem is we'll have to come back through Toronto. And get stuck in Toronto. Wonderful Toronto traffic. Hopefully not for overly long, otherwise, uh, you know, because I got 4 hours 58 minutes. And the clock is ticking. Wow, that was a short green light. Or a turn signal. Okay, that's good. <coughs> we still got to go, but geez, that was short. Nonetheless. Now we gotta find our way to the 404. Get her done. Alrighty, let the joy begin. Third pickup is done, finally. 3.56 in the afternoon, we may end up just going on hourly pay today. At this rate. Make our way to Mississauga Yard. Hope traffic's not too bad because we've only got three hours and 27 minutes left before our 16 hour clock runs out. And then we'll have to wait till tomorrow to go to Kitchener if we uh, don't make it. I think she's going to be cutting it close because by the time we get to the other side with traffic and whatnot, Drop this trailer in the yard, Missaga yard, and then try to bobtail back to Kitchener. Yeah, it's gonna be interesting. We'll hold judgment though, just in case traffic is good. The more the day started off kind of shitty with uh, that first pickup, but uh, the other two have gone pretty smoothly, despite the blindside back in one being a blindside. Let's get her done. Alrighty, boys and girls, the trailer is dropped. And now we gotta try to make it back to Kitchener in the next two hours and 14 minutes. And our clock runs out, so we gotta get into Kitchener. And then uh, we're going to switch on to uh, uh, off-duty uh, driving so that I can go do my groceries. Yup, 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 yup. Yeah, we want to go do our groceries tonight because we're going to be on a reset in Kitchener. And uh, I don't know how in the U.S. 
because I never really go on uh, the off-duty driving time when, I'm in, when I was in the U.S. But up in Canada, you're only allowed a maximum of 75 kilometers, number one. Number two, you have to have done a pre-trip within 24 hours of that driving. Otherwise, you have to do another one. So, since I did my pre-trip at whatever ungodly hour it was this morning, I think it was like 3 o'clock. No, it was close to 4 o'clock. Quarter to 4. So... We basically have to go do our groceries tonight. That's provided we make it. Hopefully traffic's not too bad. We should be all right. I mean, the 403 is just plugged solid, but I don't know how the 401's gonna be. I was just looking at the ramp there. You'll see it in a second. Although the sun's pretty bright. I thought of doing my reset just in uh, Milton, maybe, but not 100% sure. It's actually not the 403 that's plugged, it's the 410. It's all the cars here on the collector trying to get on the 410. And this guy doesn't know where his accelerator is either. Come on, dude, it's acceleration lane. Let's pick it up. Come on, man. Give her gas, dude. Give her, man, give her. There you go. That's what I want to see. I want to see that smoke coming off of there. Give her, man. Give her all she holy crap your truck stinks dude. Woo! That exhaust just came in my window. Oh there's some more of it. Yes. Let's breathe all that crap in. Come on man. Oh you stink dude. Damn. Woo! That's one stinky ass truck, man. Now the fun begins, this traffic. The way they've got this set up going from the collector over just sucks. But I'm going to stay on the right side until the very last. I'm going to be one of these very last, last second guys. That's what I'm going to be. No, maybe I shouldn't have. Not for this first one. Just notice to the right all them cars. Oh, that's for the 410. Okay not coming here. So now we'll have the backup because all this stuff eventually has to go all the way over to the left and then over to the left again. It was like they didn't really build it so that this just is a continuation. It's really stupid. We'll have the right lane will end and then this lane will end and then the other lane will end. So we may as well try to get over now. And we're going to get these forwarders not going to want them to let me over. Come on, dude. Come on. Let's go. Get over. Now we don't look out for each other. We're going to be in trouble out here. So begins the fun of the journey back to Kitchener. Kind of still really want to stop in Milton though. Do my reset there, but because there's the Walmart right there, and then there's a Canadian Tire. I think there's a Future Shop too. I could do all my groceries and stuff right there. But Kitchener would be nice because they got Driver Appreciation Week this week. I want to go find out what they're giving away. I know they've been giving, they've been uh, doing subs and stuff from Subway. That'd be kind of cool for lunch tomorrow. So yeah, we want to go to Kitchener because it's driver appreciation. We'll see what we're going to get for free this year. See if it'll be a pair of gloves or a new flashlight kit. We'll have to wait and see. See, now we've got to get all the way over again. I know what you guys are saying. Well, why are you going all the way in the left lane? 
Because every one of those lanes on the right is going to end. It's it's stupid. The way they got it set up. It really is. It's, it's actually, it's idiotic. Oh, well. All right, and we made it back to Kitchener. We're here. And we're just completing our a pre-trip, okay? I'm going to tell you why in a second. Just want to make sure everything's filled out correctly. And it is. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Okay, good. Send. Okay. Let's go over here. Home. Messaging. Hours. You have zero hours and 48 minutes of remaining drive yeah, we time. We made it back. We got 48 minutes left, but we got to run off another 10 minutes here. We got to do a pre-trip on the truck. And the reason being is, okay, so this is the part of the rule, too. Remember, I was telling you, you're allowed 75 mile, or kilometers uh, driving, uh, off-duty driving, right? But in Canada here, you also have to have had done a pre-trip within 24 hours. Now, here's the trick. If you do a pre-trip at the end of the day versus a post-trip, then you still can draw, use the truck for 24 hours after that. So, since it's 6.30... I can basically use the truck all day tomorrow uh, as personal conveyance as long as I don't go over the 75 kilometers. And that's why I did a pre-trip now. That's why I'm going to go outside and do a pre-trip now.